man, keep it cool, nothing has to change. Oh. Just take one. No, oh, sorry. Forgot to switch that. Where is it? Right there. All right, so here we go. Declan Rice's girlfriend, <coughs> Lauren Fryer, has deleted all of her Instagram pictures after bullying after bullying from various online trolls. The 25-year-old has been has been with Rice, also 25 for eight years, with the couple having us also having a son together. You wanna dig me? Go on, Rice. But how can anyone say anything to this woman? That's hate, bro. Right? Get me? That's hate. Oh, that's the that's the. Sorry, that's not her. I was gonna say she looked different there than she did there. There's nothing wrong with her. That she got a suntan. That's suntan. Bless her little con. She's cute, man. And you know me, blood. I know she got blessed though. Though they don't look that. Anyway, scratch all that. In recent months, Lauren has had to put up with disgusting messages from vile trolls on social media. The talking appeared to begin in December when Rice was told that he could do better. Lauren has now wiped her Instagram account, which was which has more than 70,000 followers. Since taking down her pictures, Lauren has received support from former Love Island Liberty Pole. That's Miss Miss Blondin Titties Will Out. That's her right there. A 24-year-old who starred in the 2022 series of the show wrote on Instagram, I think she's beautiful. This is crazy. What happened to celebrity? What happened to celebrating different body types and embracing how we all have individual, how we all are individually made? Beauty standards these days are unrealistic and everyone's gone mad because of social media. Yes, and you're part of that. Know that. And I'm going to keep preaching out, preaching out about it till I die. Time for a change. This is this can't continue. That is right. Having been together for eight years, Rice and Lauren also have a son together. One year old, one year old son Jude, the Arsenal star, appeared to come confirm his son's birth in August 22 after revealing his new tattoo. Rice Inc. simply confirmed Jude's birthday to be August the seventh. Yep, got my babies. Same thing, brother. Lauren is Rice's biggest supporter and can regularly be found cheering him on at the games. She has been in attendance at the Emirates this season following her man switch from West Ham to Arsenal, while she was also in Qatar with the baby Jude to cheer on Rice in the 2022 World Cup. Salute to her, blood. That's what you need. Ride or dies. You hear me? Ride or dies. You hear me? Look at that gold watch on her right there, blood. You can buy all of us a yard. You hear me? I don't mean each. You know, she used to hand that over. I'm sure we get a yard. Relationship timeline. 2016, Rice and Childhood Sweetheart. Lauren get together as teenagers. <sighs> Fucking hell, 2016. These people, see? They're young, man. They're babies. Ugh. 2000, I'm thinking 2016. Shit, man. 2000, May 2000, uh, Rice makes his um, West Ham debut in a... Ross, 2007. Is that it? Is that when he made his debut? Shit, son. I'm old, man. March 2019, Hammers Ace makes his England debut after switching alliances from, from Real Madrid, you know, from Republic of Ireland. August 2022, Rice confirms the birth of his son, Jude. November 2022, Lauren heads to Qatar to support her man at the World Cup. July 2023, Rice leaves West Ham to join Arsenal with Lauren regularly supporting him at the Games at Emirates. April 2004, Lauren wipes her account after getting bullied by trolls. Now, he's an Egypt, blood. If you dissing this woman, use a idiot, use a hater. You get me? Use a hater. And what's probably happening is because it's, it's it's like, and people admit to this when you get when you get them on their own. People admit to this. The people that have them fake accounts. First of all, you shouldn't be allowed to have fake accounts. You get me? I'm not. I'm not saying I'm not one of them. Oh, I need a passport and all that, but it should be you. You get me? It should at least be you. You know what I'm saying? And you can tell by the uploads and things like that. When That's why when you go on IG and the person's got like one picture, two picture, or they got even eight, 10 pictures, but no captions. Like this stuff that just shows you that these people are idiots. I ain't getting upset with no one who don't have a photo. And I ain't getting upset with no one who keeps their shit private. I ain't getting upset with no one who ain't got enough photos. I ain't getting upset with no one who's got no way, no how, no place to be calling anybody else ugly. You under dig me? These people do it because their life is small. That's all it is. They do it because their life is small. I know it ain't nice to read. I know, you get me? It's not like I get thousands, 
get a couple bits here and there, but I don't like it. But the older that I get, the more it's like, oh, please. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, they say you got, you're on, you're online and you've got laptops and you, you're being bullied online. That's why people from like my generation don't understand getting bullied online. Because all you got to do is, done. that's it. Shut it off. Turn it off. You don't have to delete your shit. You know what I'm saying? That might be a little extreme, but you then you don't want people taking your shit and doing some fuckeries with it. You know what I mean? I understand that. You know what I mean? I, when I think about that, I think more about my babies and the dig me. But I understand it. But when you you have to remember it's okay to shoot up in society. It's okay to shoot up. The poor can shoot up. You get me? Big girls can shoot up to skinny girls and call them whatever they want. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? That's it, it's, it's it's just how it go. But you have to know it's happening because you're blessed and everyone else isn't. You're blessed. You get me? You're with your childhood sweetheart. What? And your childhood sweetheart is a superstar in his field. What? You get me? You're the baby, you're the, not the baby mother, you're a mother of his child. What? You get me? You back him at every every club game. What? You go on tour when it's the England time. What? Don't have no one saying nothing about you. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, she might be a little chubby. She might be a little thick. And what, blood? Is you sleeping with her? No. You get me? If anything, it shows you. That man talking about, oh, Rice, you can do better. He picked her. He picked her. So if he could have done better, he would have. He picked her. It's not about what you people think it's about. You are embarrassing yourselves. But at the same time, you're not because you're hiding behind stuff. You know what I'm saying? Same way the ones who diss football. Every time I hear women talk about how they get how they get disrespected, and then I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake, here we go. Blood, I was watching something. I was watching a reel. It was just a reel of women's game. And... When I tell you this shot, powerful blood, you heard her kick this ball. You heard her kick it, and then it hit the net. You heard it. Oh, my comment was, God damn, that was powerful. And you realize, it's like, ah, oh, she needs to get back in the kitchen, all that shit. Bruv, you have to be some little boy, because if you're an adult typing that, I'm embarrassed for you. You get me? Ain't no one saying the women's game is on the same level as the men's game. Ain't no one saying that. Ain't no one saying the women are better than the men. Ain't no one saying that. When I say no one, you know, you have the uh, the occasional person on the other side who try and drop that. But we don't need to even have that discussion because we've got young schoolboy teams beating big international women's teams. We don't need to be rubbing it in their face. We know the difference. You get me? Same way the NBA, the um, WNBA women think that they can take on the W, the, they can take on the NBA men. Like, stop it. You lot, There's like two of you who can dunk in your whole league. Like, stop embarrassing yourself by saying things like that. You know what I mean? You get me? The, you, have to, you have to talk and you have to listen to women to understand where they're coming from. Yes, there's some of them who jump online and they chat shit or they're doing it to, just to get attention. You know what I'm saying? Just to get attention to the topic or just to get... But they, they're going about it the wrong way because they're just bringing hate to the situation instead of ears. You know what I'm saying? Ears and eyes. I speak to women all the time. Same way I've spoke to a referee of late. I interviewed a referee. So now ears are open a little bit, but my ears are eyes are open more for a referee at the grassroots level because that was the person I interviewed. Premier League, you are elite and you should be embarrassed for yourself. You know what I'm saying? I know probably referees all stick together, but there's a line. You know what I'm saying? There's a line. This woman here is my man's woman, teen sweethearts, the mother of his child. How are you telling him he picked wrong? Why? Because you like the big titty page three chick. Yeah, I just showed my age. Yeah, I just showed my age. You like the big titty OnlyFans girl. You get me? You like the, the Instagram model. What? Who's going to be showing all of us her goodies? And then what? what's left for Rice? Nah, man. He got himself one right there. You understand me? He got himself one. That's what you lot are jealous of. You get me? And again, where's the fucking picture of her wearing her roly blood? There's a picture of her. Right, Dessa. Back in her hubby. That's where she's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Can I make that bigger? That's where she's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Salute to her blood. Salute to her blood. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, I might have to go to her page and show her some love. You know what I mean? And keep it love, not lust. You understand know me? Got to respect the Rice family. You heard? I don't know why she's not a Rice, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? All these young people today, 
do, do stuff different. But best believe, Jude better be Jude Rice. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? And if you're his wife, why? Anyway, that's their thing. Let them do their thing. Don't want to change your name? You don't have to. It's your business. That's the type of angle I'm trying to take with my daughter. <laughs> Yeah, man, you got to keep that Monero alive, baby. But is what it is, man. All right. Let me know what you're saying down below about that, people. You know what I'm saying? Do you think she should have thicker skin? Do you think she was right to delete photos? Do you think the trolls are idiots? Wah, guan for what you talking about? Let me know down below. Next up, we're going to be talking about United and who, and who they're ready to sell. Let's go. The latest scores. Five hour jungle is another place. Five eight seven TV other lick. Yeah, real TV, reality TV. Five eight seven bar level. Five hour jungle is yeah. Godfather. See that one. What's up, people? Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel.